Hi, welcome again. I started working with the infinite landscape system 400 engine with open land mesh. All right, here's the first preview. Actually, I got hit by floating point precision issue quite early and it was uh, very interesting. Let me show you the uh, idea behind the landscape and then uh, I can show you the problem and how I'm trying to fix it in the near term and long term. All right, let's get started. So here's the landscape like this. So we have nothing here. So I can go to any place I like. I can play and have the uh, landscape with it. So basically I can walk around there and the landscape will automatically generate. Here right now it's just a simple square, but we can easily expand it into a whole landscape. So that's the idea. So I started doing this and then so I put some uh, points like this, root, like blah, blah, blah. Of course, go beyond uh, uh, 10 kilometers and reach to 100 kilometers, but I'll talk about 100 kilometers soon. But let's start step by step towards this number. Now we are at the root, so let's walk. Right, uh, nothing happens, everything looks fine. And then uh, let's go 100 meters. All right, still, uh, yeah, looks good. And then let's go one kilometer. All right, all right, what is happening here? Things are quite bad, okay. Then let's go maybe five kilometers. All right, now things are definitely bad. So basically my frame rate is quite okay. About the UV coordinates, I'm pretty sure I'm sending the coordinates correctly, but there's a problem that my UVs are quite high because the X is over thousand. So that's the problem. So here's what's happening. So somewhere inside the rendering engine, inside the Unreal Engine, if you see a large UV uh, coordinate like this, things get complicated with plotting point precision problem. So that's quite interesting. I tried how to fix that and the uh, fix was quite easy. So basically I can wrap the max UVs into some small number, let's say 10. So UVs are rotating 0 to 10 all the time. So we don't see this problem. So that's my theory. So let's see how it works. So let's start with one kilometer. We know root will work for sure. Yeah, things are working just fine. So let's go maybe five kilometers. All right, still pretty good. How about 10? Okay, quite cool. Right, how about beyond 10 kilometers? Okay, let's go 11 kilometers. Okay, what's happening? All right, engine crash. So that's the issue. With the current state of Unreal Engine, we cannot go beyond 20 kilometer landscapes. So that's due to the use of floating point numbers inside the engine. And I heard and I saw some of the posts that are with UE5, so they're going to address that with double precision. So with that, we could go really, really large landscapes. As of right now, the UV5 uh, preview that we are using doesn't have that functionality I tested, but I hope maybe uh, that will be available when the UE5 launch for the public. And I'm hoping for that. Even with that thing, uh, there could be a limit and basically we, we cannot go light years also. So I was thinking about what we can do about this. So I was thinking maybe we can uh, try to create some kind of virtual coordinate system. That coordinate system could be really, really huge, but the actual landscape that we are working with might be within a one kilometer or even smaller. So that's something already in use with a lot of games. Basically it's called origin shifting. I bet in order to do that, we had to change a lot of stuff. So my long term idea is to build a virtual coordinate system with this infinite landscape system. So everything would work really nicely. Since we have identified the problem and now we have the, the short term solution and the long term solution so we can proceed. In this week, I'm trying to generate geometry uh, using existing tools in Opal and Mesh and let's see what we can do. And if you like uh, what I'm trying to do here and you can buy the uh, Opal and Mesh from the marketplace that will help me to work on this and do some very interesting stuff. All right. See you soon with something interesting. Bye.